Hey my loves, what's up and welcome back to the Trend Diaries. I'm Nadi and in today's video I'll be creating this look right here. You can call it brown makeup look or brown nude makeup look because this is like what Nidhi loves. I love doing such brown um, makeup looks. So let me know if you like it and without any further ado, let's get started. All good things done only to the face and nothing to the body. It does not work that way, right? I personally love adding that moisturization to my body too because only then you would look bomb. And for that, I love using this body oil from Plum Body Loving. It is their Vanilla Vibes body oil. I'm already on bottle number two. I've like finished this particular one up. I use this daily on my body as it's a great moisturizer for my dry skin plus it's lightweight and non-sticky but for the days when I want that extra glow especially nighttime events you know I do a small trick using this body oil what I like to do is I mix in the body oil with a bit of my highlighter and apply it all over my body to give me that instant glow these body oils are enriched with eight natural oils which add that intense moisturization without being sticky it's a complete non-greasy formula and it smells divine you would love it definitely and you can also get 15% off your purchase on plum body loving if you use my code anidhi15 look at that glow i love it starting off with moisturizing my face and i'm obsessed with this moisturizer from bioderma so i would quickly apply it all over my face then applying some lip balm from plum then I would also add a little bit of the stroke cream from PAC. Um, this is their silver variant. They have, I think, three shades in this one. After that, I would use the K-Beauty Undercover Color Correcting Primer. I really love this one. I think this one, yes, this is their orange one. They have so many different um, tones in this. I particularly love this one as it primes as well as color corrects at the same time but i would also use a color corrector underneath my eyes and a little bit around my chin first let me just quickly massage this primer in so when you are in a rush you can completely skip the color correcting step if you have this product i would also slightly color correct underneath my eyes to uh, correct the darkness and very very lightly around my mouth and i just need a very very tiny amount like that's enough so yes uh, that was the conceal and correct from a makeup revolution then i take a thick um concealer buffing brush like this and i just buff these areas out remember one thing color correcting does not mean that you have to make that orange face with color corrector all over the place you just need very tiny bit to just cancel out the darkness and make sure you've blended it out like perfectly so that you know this orangeness does not mix up with your base product because if that happens then your base ends up looking like slight bit orangish which again is not flattering and we aren't aiming for that kind of look so less is more with correctors like less is more with everything to be true but with correctors you have to be very careful um, while taking the amount you need not need much also another thing that i really like to do myself is using um skin tone match concealer shade or a slightly more warmer concealer shade than my skin tone to conceal first so i can like literally use a darker concealer shade to just conceal these areas that have hyperpigmentation and then use my normal foundation shade instead of using a color corrector you can do either which i am showing both the methods so that you get like how it is to be done so for that i'm using the ellie girl pro conceal concealer i really love this one and is in the shade cool tan it's a pretty good um skin tone match i literally have like used it all up i love this concealer so what i do is just apply it like this and buff it again I also have a slight bit of pigmentation on my eyelids so with whatever is left on the brush I just run it over my lids by not adding much product and then once this is sitting like for like 30 seconds I again buff it out. 
also while applying the concealer or the corrector remember to place it maximum in the innermost corners of your eyes right here because here you will have the deepest or the darkest of the dark circle or the pigmentation is the deepest right here in the inner corner so basically even if you just conceal or correct that much part out you will look like fresh if you understand what i'm trying to say um yeah i would move on to my foundation for that i'm using the k beauty liquid foundation i have two particular shades um one is 135 n medium and the other one is a uh, 160 p tan so basically um i like to mix in both of these shades because i think i am the shade 140 or 150 why something because i do have yellow warm undertone so let's try the medium shade first and see on me i'll just shake it up even with your foundation you need the maximum coverage in the center and then while you're moving outwards you can just reduce the amount of uh, product that you're using so that's another trick that you can use so i have applied the shade 135 a medium and that is how it looks like it pretty much matches my chest and neck like uh, i have like literally a massive shade difference like my body and my face but any which ways that is the shade 135 and um i'm using pack 009 brush whatever is left on the brush i take it on my forehead because personally i have a lot of creases on my forehead so i don't like applying a lot of product on my forehead zone and i also bronze a lot because i love bronzing so basically it just looks all caked up if i apply too much of foundation in this zone so i avoid doing that and then taking a pump more of the foundation i would like to go down my neck as well and on my ears ever so lightly As you can see this is like one layer of the foundation and it's pretty much done or because all of the blemishes seem kind of covered because we've already color corrected as well as concealed beneath but if you wish to you can completely go for spot correcting at this point or even add a second layer of coverage where required yes that's pretty much the base i really like how flawless it looks so yes after that i love doing this step which is using a cream blush I've like completely gravitated towards cream blush these days so I love these from Just Herbs um it is their lip and cheek tint and is in the shade soft nude 05 and I would just dig my finger in to just warm the product up and apply it right here on the top parts of my cheek as this would also add the color plus it would help me lift my face so i love applying blush in this area and with whatever is left i hit it right here and not the tip of my nose otherwise i don't know if i add blush on the tip of the nose it makes me look like a reindeer so i add it here here in this area and slight bit on my chin with the excess whatever is left on the brush i'm not picking more so yes that's basically the blush i love as i love talking so much i completely forgot concealing underneath my eyes so for that i'm using the ellie girl pro conceal concealer this is in the shade pure beige It's lightly highlighting um color for my skin tone and using the same um pack 009 brush using pack 215 concealer buffing brush for buffing out the concealer underneath my eyes then to powder my face down the og the fit me loose powder from maybelline i love this i'm using pack triple one brush again i love this brush for powder products we pick the powder up and dust off the excess look up and set underneath my eyes and if you tend to get smile lines just do this and set it immediately post you have done your base makeup in that way your base won't crease you can also do it with a sponge For my blush, I'm using a Wet n Wild color icon, my favorite shade, which is Mellow Wine, and with the same triple one powder brush, I'm picking this one up. I love this color. The main game changer here is gonna be your bronzer. You can even do cream bronzing if you like to do so. I'm using the Wet n Wild color icon bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers in the shade Your Dragon Me Down. This just adds the perfect amount of warmth as well as it just 
makes you look sun kissed i love that effect on me so i just pick this one up with the pointed side and bronze up my face and the contours of my cheekbone just look how smooth everything is looking like you're seeing in 4k if not then change the resolution asap and see this in 4k everything just looks so smooth it is the products and how you know the blurring effect they're giving i love this bronzer and i'm using this fluffy brush from pack this is 274 brush i just take small amount of it and you know pull this area up in this way it gives my eyes that uplifted look so i like doing that it just basically adds a nice shadow right here and lift my eyes up because i do have like droopy hooded eyes with a bigger brush just smoothen out the edges and i would also add it right in the eye socket here because if you add contour right here in this socket area your hood basically looks as if it's receded moving on to my favorite step that's highlighting i'm using the mary luminizer from the balm cosmetics and again it's a very beautiful um champagne shade of highlighter using pack 131 brush i love this brush again for my highlighter and picking the highlighter up adding it on tops of my cheekbone this is blinding for my brows all i like to do is just add a bit of a brow mascara it just works perfectly for me i'm using the elf bar brow for this and i would just brush it through my brow hair let's just apply highlighter underneath the eyebrow on the brow bone for my eyeshadow today i'm using the naughty nude eyeshadow palette from huda i love this i'm so excited to use this um that is how the eyeshadow palette looks like picking up the color naughty using pack 274 and um the shade arouse seeing the shadow in like this um 50 50 way 50% on the previous shadow and 50% on the lid taking a tapered blending brush and um the shade rough using the same color scheme on the lower lash line to using naughty first then a bit of arouse and rough i'm using pack 274 You can do this like just squint your eyes in this way um so that the lower lash line just gets lifted and so that you can work really well and then with a cleaner blending brush just blending out the edges I would add the smashbox always on gel liner in my waterline as well as tight line the Nykaa super size mascara to coat my lashes And for my lip combo, I'm using um, the Wet n Wild lip liner first, my absolute favorite. Then I would use my favorite lipstick. It's Nykaa Matte Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chai. I love this. We just mesh the powders down on my face. I'm using the Mac Fix Plus Setting Spray and to lock my makeup in place. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Setting Spray. So yes that is the finished brown nude makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. This is like my version of a brown nude makeup. I just love everything monotonous. Let me know what do you think about this look. If you liked it, you can obviously just tone down the eye shadow part a bit if you don't like a heavy brown smoky eye, but I love it. Like Nidhi loves it. So yes, uh let me know your thoughts about this look in the comments below and you can find all of the products that I've used in this video mentioned in the description box you can check that out and if you like this video then smash that like button and do subscribe to join the trend fam and a big shout out to plum body loving for sponsoring a small part of today's a video and I shall meet you all soon in my next one till then take care namaste and keep trending